Alright guys, uh, this is the comparison video between the uh, Aqua UV Sterilizer and the uh, Emperor Aquatic Sterilizer. Um, there's the older model of the Aquatic UV Sterilizer right there. And then I've already got installed uh, the um, <clears throat> Emperor Aquatic Sterilizer. Uh, as you can see right off the bat, they're uh, they're both 25 watts, and they both utilize basically the same bulb. And you can see. I got it in my hand right here. I'm trying to line it up. But you can see there's a bit more length to the Emperor Aquatic Sterilizer. Got about six more inch, seven more inches or so. And they're both two inch diameter. That's the, uh, the compact um, light smart UV version with the three quarter inch tube inputs on there, barbed inputs, and uh, but basically, there are some problems going on between both of the companies where they're kind of knocking on each other's products and uh. Basically, uh, I've studied up on a little more. Um, basically, from what I've read on Emperor Aquatics' website, they both buy their bulbs from the same exact uh, manufacturer, except this manufacturing company makes different grades of bulbs. And... Um, from what I understand, Aqua buys the lower grade one and glues these blue end caps on to make it look fancy and prints their label on there to make it look fancy. Uh, you can see that uh, chalky looking stuff on the bulb right there. It was also on the inside of the quartz sleeve. Um, I don't have the quartz sleeve anymore because it broke. Um, but that's an indication that you're um, producing UV light in a different spectrum than the one that you need and poor quality UV lights tend to do that therefore create ozone and then this is a nitrogen byproduct and uh, that's what that chalky looking substance is you can also smell ozone uh, when you plug the bulb in, don't look at it. Just plug it in, bare, leave it on for a few seconds, and then unplug it, and then take a whiff by it. You'll smell kind of a strange, like, kind of a strange smell. Well, that's from the ozone that it creates. Um, this is the exact same length bulb. You could actually use one of these bulbs in either the Emperor or you could use an emperor bulb and use it in the aqua and uh, because the same company makes them uh, emperor aquatics actually makes a replacement high grade bulb for the aqua uv um, to replace these because they're so cheap um, they're actually not cost wise cheap but they are actually not a very good bulb from what i understand uh, they both had the same rating as far as life goes, um, 9,000 hours or something like that. <clears throat> Good for about a year. And uh, based on Emperor Aquatics bulb, from what I've read, uh, they're saying that the bulb lasts a year. And even after one full year of use, it only degrades <clears throat> about 20%. So you're still running at 80% after a whole year versus many other 
UV sterilizers that's basically uncomparable. That kind of those kinds of specs right there are uncomparable to other bulbs, in my opinion. And obviously, we went over this before. The design of the housing flaws. Uh, the bulb is actually this long. And the inlets and outlets are like right in between. And you're missing out on a whole bunch of potential of the bulb. You're basically only sterilizing with half the bulb. Because the water takes the path of least resistance. And I already measured it out on my other video. You can check it out. Um, <clears throat> you're only utilizing about 7 inches of a 14 inch bulb. And by length, you can basically calculate out half of the length of the bulb is going to calculate out to half of the wattage uh, being utilized, which is about 12.5 watts. Uh, <clears throat> and then here's the ballast. The ballast right here. This is what they got here. This is basically unserviceable. You can't really, if anything went bad in here, you probably have to just go and buy a whole new uh, ballast. This is the ballast right here they got. And they got, <clears throat> looks like 15 feet or 20 feet or whatever of uh, um, cord there. Uh, Emperor Aquatics ballast is right here. <clears throat> try and get it out of here just so you can see it real quick <clears throat> it's right there ah, stupid thing. there obviously you can tell there's a big difference here and there's screws there you can get in there to uh, access any of the, the parts that need to be replaced, like this starter and stuff like that, if it ever goes bad, you can service the ballast, it looks like. And also, seeing how the bulb is the exact same dimensions, I'll show you one of the difference. Right there, inlet, outlet. You can see you're missing out on about half the bulb. Now, if you look here, You've got the whole entire bulb in between the inlets and outlets. So you're utilizing the entire bulb, um, maximizing contact time and um, microwatts per cubic centimeter. Uh, that's a two inch body. That's a two inch body. This is actually a, a, a more compact than this. Even though this is shorter, it's still bigger in diameter right here. This was actually easier to install than this little one would have been. The shorter one. Just because the way I had to mount it in there, I'm out of room in my system. That was the only spot I could have put that. Um, I actually bought the three inch version and realized that uh, the three inch wouldn't have worked because of the uh, the output uh, are similar to those made to be plumbed in basically and I wanted to go with a barbed uh, system and this worked out real good for me here uh, so far it is proven to be absolutely amazing take a look down the length of the tank uh, it's crystal clear from end to end I mean I could read a newspaper right through the end and uh, my fish aren't flashing anymore this has only been three days I've ha had it up and running um, all the parasites on my fish are almost gone already. Uh, 